All right, you ready to go? Or yeah, okay. And we have returned. Let's let's just go to the bathhouse and see what Tina saw. It is a waste of time. Maybe, but there's no harm in it. I mean, do you want to make a bet on it? <laughs> just stare at each other. <laughs> we don't buy anything. That'll be the end of it. <laughs> You're gonna go try to see a ghost? Is that really a good idea? I might put a curse on you. You can wait here if you want. I don't want to be alone. Take me with you. What are you going to do, Celeste? There is nothing to be done. I suppose I have no choice. Mm. How about you, Mr. Ishimura? Ishimaru? Are you gonna wait here? Oh. I guess that's a yes. Hey, you remember that thing that wasn't important that we shouldn't bother looking in? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was right here. I saw it right here in the dressing room. Um, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on, come on. Lala Cthulhu for tongue. Shut up, what if he actually shows up? Hina. Hina, where was it that you saw Chihiro's ghost? Well... Well, I heard a sound and when I opened the locker... I saw a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. Um, I'm not talk to people who matter. So in the end, Hina said. Uh, uh, Hina said she opened the locker. The, the locker. We better check that out. Okay. Um, we've already spoken to Aoi, and now just Kyoko, and then everyone who Listen. mattered was spoken to. Oh. <sighs> if Hina saw something as she claims, there might be something here in the locker. Listen. I like Celeste for the controversy she does, but she hasn't added anything to the game yet. Um, is this the locker? There was something in here. Huh? Inside the locker is... a laptop? What's something like that doing here? Hey. I remember seeing this. In the library. <laughs> That's right, I saw it in the library before. It just appeared the next time I looked in there. I noticed it immediately. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old and it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. No, we read that already, so I'm just skipping. How did the laptop get from the library to here? Mm, and I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. Huh? But I thought it was broken. I would bet that Chihiro fixed it. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. I don't think they know that programming has nothing to do with hardware. Then perhaps. More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green light, right? Yeah. Surely you did not mistake the light of the monitor for a ghost. <laughs> I'm surprised you are able to dress yourself in the morning. Fuck you, Celeste. Tell me, and if I had the love's cute and coolest girl's attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. Well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker, okay? Hey, come on. It's okay, I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. Hmm. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I'd spotted a gray alien, but it turned out to just be a tadpole. What are you saying? Don't compare what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions. Don't be mean. But listen, is, isn't this really strange? What's the laptop doing in here? In other words, maybe someone hid it here. But if that's the face, we if that's the face, if that's the case, we found it pretty easy. Whoever put it here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. Huh? What do you mean? Hey, haven't you noticed there's one big difference between this room and all the others? No cameras. There's no surveillance camera. Yes, it's me. Precisely. There's no camera in here, which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Hmm. Hmm. So you're saying hmm. someone put the laptop hmm. here so the mastermind wouldn't know about it? It's true. 
And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Chihiro shining pale green. I think it would be best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. Just like Kyoko said, the display isn't on, but the laptop definitely has power. So then. So first of all, we have to wake it up. Just grabs it and starts slapping it. <laughs> Pours water on it. Oh my god. <laughs> I started hitting random buttons on the keyboard. And the display instantly began to go all pale green. There were a bunch of different icons on the desktop. Mm, there, the icon on the far left. What is it? It says Alter Ego. Hmm. Alter Ego literally means another cell lady. In the field of artificial intelligence, it's not uncommon to create different aspect personnel. You're cutting out of You bit. can consider it. You can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. With that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over the alter ego icon and then she double clicked it. And the screen suddenly went dark. And then a voice spoke to us. Oh shit. That's you! That is definitely you! Yeah, you know, I forgot about this. Like, I mean, I remember it, but I forgot that it talks. Uh, I guess I'll just do Chihiro. Yeah. Master, you're here. Unless you'd like me to take over now that's a guy. Chihiro's no, face appeared, taking up the entire display. Listen, everyone's too cute for me. Shut up. Chihiro belongs in the group with us because she is precious, just like all of you. She is precious, Bubba. The ghost Buddha, sweet baby Jesus, save me! Calm down. Calm down, it's not a ghost. What? what? Um. Then, what is it? Obviously, a fucking computer program, you idiot! Well, yes, Sorry. but they don't know what it is. That's not I'm specific. Sure if, I'm sure if we just talk to it, we'll find out. But it's definitely not a ghost, is the problem. Kyoko Banda type, hands wearing across the keyboard. What are you? I, I'm not gonna make you read it, I'm just going to let it be on screen. Okay. That voice, the tone and everything. It's Chihiro. I knew it. Alter Ego, I've heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. AI program. That's right. It's how Chihiro earned his title of ultimate programmer. The AI lives in a computer and by repeating different tasks it gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. Apparently Chihiro used a support vector machine and reinforcement learning to develop it. Eventually he came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. I mean, yeah, he's telling us about that. Support vector machine? Reinforcement learning? It's true. To put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. If you want to know more, just Google it, okay? In other words. But if this AI continues to grow, it will become more than just a piece of software. Some say that an AI like this might someday replace people. Hmm. And that's why it's called Alter Ego. Fine choice, then, I must say. It can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how humans. <laughs> if you were to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your Alter Ego. A second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what Chihiro created. That's... That's Alter Ego. I honestly expected Makoto to chime in. Kyoko, how do you know so much about this? Are you okay with this? Anyway, so he fixed the broken laptop and put his own program on there. That's what this means, yeah? 
Then he brought the machine to this dressing room where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> but you know all this master and whatnot? Yes, yes. I believe I'm on fire. I thought you were only into 2D. This is the most excellent 2D possible! He's a guy and also a computer program. And that's an aspect that is no problem. I mean... That aspect? Anyway. I don't know. I, I'm giving up on fucking Hagakura. I can't do anything. I'm not doing anything for him. Anyway, let's talk to him a little more. Kyoko typed away arithmetically. How much do you know about what's going on? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna read it, Gabe. Oh, I wasn't. Okay, it's fine. Just go for it. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? Are you asking what Master had planned for me? Well... He wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored on this laptop. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection of them is surprisingly strong. So it's taking uh, me a little longer than I thought. But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly means they must contain some important secret. For example, perhaps the secret of this school. <sighs> While I was big struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked her next question. How much longer until everything's unlocked? Um, it's gonna be a while. Leave it to me. But I'm definitely gonna do it, so you could just leave it to me. I see. So because of how long it would take, he designed uh, Ultra. Pa, ha, ta, ta, pa, pa. I don't know why I thought it. Like, I really. I keep expecting Nayagi to actually chime in ever, but it's just Kyoko doing everything right now. And I guess yeah. we need Kyoko. And that's why she's here. She's detective. So because of how long it would take, he designed Ultra Ego to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart. It also means that the work remains interrupted even after his death. Once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep it up, but be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. Don't worry, I've got a secret plan already, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam, so if anyone suspicious shows up, I'll just scream for help real loud. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes, indeed. That is fine during the day, but nighttime is CERN. Oh, why? Are you okay with this? Have you forgotten all our rooms are completely soundproof? Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants, but we won't hear a thing. Okay, then how about once it's nighttime, we each take turns guarding the dressing room? However, there's a good chance the Masterman would notice us all going in and out of the dressing room like that. Then what can we do? So once night comes, so. I'll leave the door to my room open. I really actually thought so. And that is... dangerous. Because... Okay, uh, that means one of two things. That either means we lose Kirigiri in the future, or it's proven that Kirigiri is detective status and cannot be lost, and that makes me believe that Kirigiri is in on this, just as our support. Then there's no way I can miss you, Alter E. I can miss Alter Ego yelling. But if you leave your, yeah, no, no, I'm not true. reading him. There's a chance I may become a victim myself. I know. However, but I'm not as weak as you may think. I wouldn't go down without the fight. I can assure you. There's an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. <laughs> she was totally confident she'd be okay. That confidence was somewhat similar to Byakugan's tone, but at the same time, different. Yeah, it was an entirely different feel, for sure. It's confidence, not conceit. Not arrogance. Yeah. Like, someone who'd been dropped onto a battlefield versus someone who'd been born on a battlefield. I felt that was the fundamental difference. I was pulled out from my thoughts by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. So, um... Um, would you mind if I asked a few questions? Um... I haven't 
hadn't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was Tim, but... It's Master. Didn't that literally happen, like, 30 hours ago? Yeah. But before that, Chihiro probably checked on all three goats somewhat regularly. That's fair. For a split second, Kyokusum did not know what to do, but she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear, concise, direct. Chihiro's dead. Mondo killed him. Okay, then. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive this situation were very low. So I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> Somehow I like... feel kinda sorry for her. Um... I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> it's a simple computer program. It does not have feeling. Yeah, okay. I don't think you understand how AI work. Hey, you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. And then Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Yeah, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye-bye. The AI seemed totally different from when we'd first arrived. He seemed upbeat. Was it just because he was following his programming, or could he have actually been worried about us? Could it be... What's wrong, hero? You know? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. Then we could call for help from the outside. But this is just a dressing room. I don't think you could get online from here. Well? Well, if we take it out of here and find somewhere that does have online access... <laughs> that's way too dangerous. The mastermind would find out in no time. Uh, um, oh, yeah. True. Indeed. There's no time for taking risks. Needless risks. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the, the file and now. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. Hmm. This feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. That's only because you enjoy it in here. You lose nothing for being in here. Most of us, we actually have people we care about or things we want to do out there. Celeste? You're a prick, and I swear to god, if you're the reason we lose Alter Ego, I'm gonna slap your shit. Of course. Well, for one, now all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. It's one thing if it's, you know, Mr. Masahiro Sakurai over there. Except not nearly as useful. Uh... You know? Fucking... You're fucking useless. It's true. Indeed. Goodbye. We'll be back, I promise. Come on, Hifumi, let's go. I suppose. Uh, okay. And we all left the dressing room. As soon as we were out of the hall, Hino had a joyful shout. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Oh, that's yours thing. Yeah. I don't know why you read. Isn't it awesome? I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? I like how this is the first thing that the mastermind sees after we walk out of the bathhouse's changing room. Yeah. Um, I would be Man, like- Man, Owie gives great head. To everyone here, especially Sakura. <laughs> yes, especially. And as if he'd been waiting for his cue. Sakura would be definitely a very gentle and amazing lover. Um... You know, like, I don't know whether you're joking or not, but I could actually see that. <laughs> I was being serious. Yeah, I mean, same. I have sex with soccer. Okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's not about wanting to or not. It's more like, I completely agree, soccer would be the kind who would be extremely gentle. Da -da -da -da! Yeah, but I'm saying that I want to. Yeah, okay. I mean, you, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, I didn't get... Um, I don't remember the button to... But something about Hina being leveling up! So, who is this awesome something? Monokuma. What the heck? seem remarkably good spirits? Did something happen? No, nothing particular. Mm. Oh, keeping secrets? No fair, I demand an exclusive interview! Denied, denied, secret denied! What the heck? 
Yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean we have to do it. Do it? Oh, you mean like, do it, do it? But wait, what do you mean, do it, do it? You gross, you said do it. What? You said it first! <laughs> we were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We've not had a chance to relax in some time. But unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into many women's sections. <laughs> so we decided to do rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go first. Kina won the match for us, and that is why we are all so pleased. Huh? Yeah, th that's right. Finally, Celeste comes in use. Because she's a liar. And a good one. Speaking of which... Okay, boys, why don't you head on back to the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice long bath. Hey, come on. <laughs> well, ladies, shall we go? Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with the ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. So she and the other girls headed back into the dining room, the dressing room. Oh. Sit damn it! We totally lost another day without getting to take my very first bath here! Uh, 